Hello chaps, chapettes and uh, little chappies. How are we all doing today? It's a, it's a cold and wet, very very wet, miserable Tuesday morning here. And um, I decided to do a little update on the uh, the German damp flockomotive BR86. Um, working away in the construction and getting it all done. It's not your typical 172 scale kit. There's uh, quite a lot, quite a lot in it. Um, plenty of little uh, little bits and pieces to put on um, uh, what else can I say about it uh, fit is absolutely fabulous no problems whatsoever with the fit um, minor thing I noticed in the instructions which I'll show you in a few minutes um, actually I'll show you now I can show you now why not no time like the present should there isn't right uh, where are we? Here we go. Here are the instructions. So if any of you are getting this kit, it's a handy thing to notice, right? It is a handy little thing to note. All right. Here it puts has you putting on this piece here, all right? B seventeen, I think it's good. Yeah. B piece B seventeen, all right? That you up there has you install it. Okay. Where are we? Has you install it, all right? B seventeen. So you install it, right? And that's on step two. Then you move up and you get to step five. And there it is again, B17. They're telling you to put in B17. So I thought maybe, you know, there's only one B17. There isn't two, there's only the one. But they have you fitting it here. Now when they have you fitting it here, they have you fitting, uh, these two little rails here and here they go through holes there and there and onto little pins on there and there okay so it's better to sort of because you've got to open the holes a bit because it's a bit tight so you have to kind of fit the, those yokes those poles through the thing before you go fit in the whole lot and get the whole thing square and then fit it but you've already got this piece here stuck in down there okay it's already th it's already down there so you got to fiddle around it to get it to get those thing those things in now i got them in obviously i got them in but it was pretty damn awkward i must say pretty damn awkward whereas if i hadn't got b17 put in it would have been a lot easier but they had you put it in in step two so whether step two was a mistake or what i do not know but um it, it, it definitely it's easier if i had installed it then instead of um, earlier in step two so that's that's just a little little weird one one I've never really come across before where they have you fit in the same piece again twice in the exact same spot but um, should we say it was easier to do it in step five because uh, you had the you had to do a few minor um, adjustments to it and things like that well not adjustments but you had to you know fit things to it which were easier to do when it was off okay so let's go down and have a look at this um what i've got done so far i've done step five i still have uh i mean i've, I've got as far as step five okay so we, we start off with the instructions step one Step one is you putting the tracks things together. No, I didn't do this. I did not do step one. Okay, I did not put the tracks together. Step two, right? You have building up the um, the main bit of the chassis. Step three. There we go. Whoa, whoa. I'm ahead of myself there. Five. Step two. Step three. Sorry, yeah. Step three, the heavy fitting sort of running board kind of thing there, or uh, the whatever it is, some canisters, and making up more little bits and pieces. Step four, fitting those bits and pieces and the wheels. Okay, they're all done, and the uh, that bit, that's all done. And step five was that one there with the uh, that 
the B17 piece and the, um, the linkage there linking the wheels okay linkage we call it chunk -a chunk -a linkage so that's done so that's about as far as I've gotten done okay and I still have plenty to do the whole still have a load of plastic there load of plastic to do so let's have a look down at the bench and we, we, we'll, we'll have a look at this so far for a 172 kit it's very very detailed and uh, well worth the money okay right so here we have it it's the uh, what I've gotten done and as you can see there's quite a bit there in, in, in just in just that little bit that I have done as far as step 5 there's plenty of uh, fiddly bits and pieces that are on it there's loads of uh, linkage and things Wait for the light now to sort itself out there Okay, as you can see, there's plenty of all that linkage has to go on, individual parts and things. If you have a look underneath, just be very careful, because there's loads of little things that can ping off. You've got all that lovely, lovely linkage and God knows what else. Gubbins, we call them gubbins. Loads and loads of gubbins under there. Um, like I said, everything fit together really beautifully, it really did. Um, I have no fit issues whatsoever. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful little kit. Um, very enjoyable, very, very enjoyable to make. And I'm looking forward to getting even more done. I'll get more done now this evening than that. I'm working in the, in the evenings on this because I'm, I'm moving house pretty soon. So I'm packing up stuff and God knows what else. Um, so all in all it's it, it, it it's a great little kit very well worth the uh the few bob i spent on it um it's not as expensive as the uh 135th scale train sets uh even in comparison i think this was 26 26 sterling 26 quid so it's not that bad and there's uh there's plenty in it and i still have plenty of plastic in the box to get through so Stay tuned for the uh, to the channel for uh, the next update on this, and hopefully we'll have the construction done, and we can get on then with um, with the uh, the rest of it. Shall we say? I don't know if I'll have to paint this section at this stage or not. Um, I'll have to kind of play around with the instructions and see. You know, there's putting together the the whole body of it. <coughs> if I put the body on, can I get in to see all these bits and pieces, or will I have to get them in painted now? You know, will I be able to get the uh, the, the paint in there, I'll be able to see in there, right? But will I get the uh, air pressure to get it in there, or will I have to blast it in? <laughs> blast it in there, do, I do a Simon Kemp on it, um, spray it uh, pressure fifty psi, sort of send blast the paint into it. Um, no, I, I, I. I have a funny feeling I will have to sort of get a, p a bit painted at this stage and then um, fit the cab or whatever they call it, you know, the cab with the boiler and all that kind of st stuff, the rest of the gubbins. I probably have to paint uh, this section then paint that section and put the two together. Um, I, I presume that, that would be the, uh, the way to go. So, stay tuned like I said for further updates on this and I'll let you all know how I'm getting on with it. Um, so far, no problems. Like I said, uh, apart from that one little pe little thing here, with the, I mean, there's that B17 piece, with the two little arms off it. Um, it was just awkward, the fact that it was already fitted, you know. Um, but I got it done. I got it done, and uh, I, I'm quite happy with it. So I'm gonna leave it at that, lads. I'll catch you up in the next one. Stay safe. Be good to each other. Be nice, and uh, don't forget, go and buy yourself a kit. Build it and enjoy it but i will be uh <laughs> but i will be <laughs> i will be sticking a few uh, pictures on the end of this one okay so catch up the next one let's stay safe